I want to thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a new mattress for your home or RV? Brooklyn Bedding's got many sizes to fit both. You get a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So go to <clears throat> rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin to get 20% off your purchase. All right. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. I'm good. I'm happy to happy to be home. Just now pulling into Vagabond Base Camp. Down, I was wearing t-shirts down in uh, Phoenix. Now see this. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey, Frank. We got snow. Lots of snow. Where are we gonna park this? Where are we, where are we gonna park this at, Tucker? Man, I don't know. It's, it's kind of big. Yeah, yeah. All right. My rack is uh just about done for my solar panels. Uh, wait. Daddy. Yeah, Martini. Let's go back to Phoenix. Let's go back to Felix's house. It may not be a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, it's warmer down there. Sweet baby. Well, the van did real well coming up. I got uh, right at 15 miles per gallon. So can't argue with that this size truck v8 power all that good stuff oh, yeah. keys 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 please please tell me now is there something you don't know okay okay it's my turn okay Tuck, why don't you just get down the floor so i don't have to go as high Ooh. Shut the door, Kevin. So I'm going to have around 3,000 watts right here on these panels. It won't interfere, interfere with my view. Nice, nice, nice. Well, that's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, I went by the shop and talked to Daryl, and he said the wind was so bad he didn't finish last weekend. Now, these are some big flakes. <laughs> it's good to be home. Oh no. And didn't interfere with my Christmas tree. Van did a good job, ran perfect, slick as a button. Ordered a bug shield and some uh, rain gutters to go over my windows. Y'all couldn't uh, set up here on the porch, I don't guess. That's all right. I'm not keeping the box, I don't guess. Make the van look a little bit better. Set it up here for now. I went by uh, the propane place today on the way home. Get some gas delivered. 45%. It's 40 degrees, 38 degrees, but it feels colder. Ooh P3. 
people have been asking me, Kevin, if uh, red is nicer than purple's faster, why, why are you keeping purple's faster? Well, I'm going to roll this with bed liner and paint it purple. So exterior is going to be great. Interior is in good shape. Um, I like having the, the extra doors, the extra room, and it's got an automatic transmission. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't an easy decision, but this van's awful nice. It's going to be my every day, so my backup doesn't have to be as nice as red. So I'm going to put 3,000, 3,500 watts of solar right here, and I'm going to fill that roof full as, uh, with as much solar as possible, too. Good gracious, it's time to get inside. Turn the heat on, get it all warmed up in here. Back at Vagabond. I better go, go, go close that hood with the snow. It, it feels good to be back home, Dad. It's, 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 it's fun to leave, and it, it's good to leave, it's good to come back, right? We missed y'all's, uh, we missed y'all's grooming appointment, so I had to set it up for next week. You got hair in your eyes, poor baby may make can hardly see. I know my name. Yeah, I'm going to close that hood, I'll be right back. Can't wait to set the hot tub back up. Close enough. Get back in the van here. Talk a little bit. <laughs> I know a lot of people are used to snow. I'm getting used to snow. But it still kind of brings out the, the kid in me. Oh, took my hat off inside. Y'all know what I look like with a hat and without, right? So, been having a lot of trouble trying to uh, set this right here. Trying to name this van. This is a tough one, y'all. Too bad Eric used Vanna White, and everybody and his brother and his mother named their white van Vanna White. I had some good suggestions. Uh, white Lightning. I like that a lot, but I thought I might list out three or four of my favorites, and then uh, down in the comments, why do you name your vehicles? Because it's fun. You know, life is not always easy. Life is not always fun. You have to make it. You have to create. You have to. You have to make it better if you can. And for me, and I'm not alone, uh, it's more people than me, just me and Eric, and I did it long before I ever met Eric. Uh, naming a vehicle uh, just makes, it's just more fun. Got a phone call, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Normally I don't interrupt a, uh, a video uh, for a telephone call, but that was my hospital. Now look at this. My oncologist is leaving Dignity, going to another hospital. Uh, it was a hospital, so I had to answer it. I got here just in time. So back to a few names that I do like. Now, Felix came up with this one. You ready? Vagabond Van. He, he, he texted me that on my drive back up from Phoenix. I like that pretty good. Uh, can't use Betty White. I like Betty White a lot, but that's, Felix named his white tracker that. Um, my favorite, one of my favorites from my subscribers was uh, Phantom. P-H-A-N-T-O-M, Phantom, Phantom. 
I like that one a lot. Um, one that I came up with, and I liked it a lot. You see, I have the Bigfoot. Where is it at? I don't see it. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe I can't see it. All right, well, my Bigfoot Class C RV is behind me. And, uh, oh, there it is. Right there in my back, my rear view mirror, my, my back glass. Thought about naming the van Littlefoot. <laughs> Littlefoot. And I was going to go with that. I was going to go with it. But uh, when I was leaving this morning down at uh, Paul's, Paul's and Felix's house are side by side. Uh, Paul come out and we were talking and I looked down at my odometer. And my odometer was 44441. And uh, Paul's a pretty smart guy. and He's got a good sense of humor. And I said, Paul, I've almost got fours all the way across. He said, let me see it. And he's right here at the window. And he looked in and he said, a bunch of fours and a one. I said, yeah. He said, I got a name for your van. For your van. All right, let me hear it. He said, van, fours, one. Like uh, Air Force One. <laughs> van Force One. Now that's clever. That's clever. So I got a got a couple uh, that uh, I'm thinking about. Uh, ghost. I like Ghost a lot. Phantom a lot. Vagabond Van and Van Force One. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Uh, you know, just for fun. Uh, Y'all play along with me down in the description, down in the comments, and let me know which one you like the best. Um, ooh, my nose. When I get home, my nose is always itching. <laughs> um, so we'll come up with something. Also, uh, a lot of you people, you hit the thumbs up. Uh, I don't talk about it a lot. Usually in my thumbnail in the back, I, I ask you to please subscribe, like, and comment, and all that stuff. But when you, when you like one of my videos or dislike one of my videos, push either one, um, for the YouTube algorithm, it helps get my videos out. And uh, I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. So the likes show uh, movement uh, action on my videos, and that's what YouTube likes to see. So if you please take the time to like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, but I think that's going to make today's video. So I'm going to end it where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. See you next video. Bye. From Vagabond Base Camp in Concho, Arizona. <laughs>